So in this video, this is a really cool technique called Tawarageshi. It's in um, the first technique in fighting judo by, I think it's by Kashiwazaki. Anyway, um, this is a, um, I actually learned this move by a guy called Ben Vincent. He went to the Olympics um, for Australia twice. He went to 96 in Sydney, 2000 Olympics for, for Greco Roman wrestling. And whenever he came, comes to training, which is not very often, he always teaches you something that you remember for life. And you'd be like, dude, come back to train, because every time you teach you something, I remember it for life. It's like a game So in this video, I'm going to show you how uh, that move that Ben taught us, rather than pose on the head. So now from here, I'm going to duck it. And rather than staying in the pocket here and working those moves, this right arm is going to loop Liam's head like I'm doing a guillotine. Okay, so it's going to look like this. I'm here. As I duck it, this arm lets go and goes over Liam's head. Over. And you can see now, the, the, the twist that's happening to his upper body, I run, 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 and down he goes. Tawari Geishi, it's in uh, Kashiwazaki's book, I think the first technique, I think I'm here, as it comes, if I stay here, I could be in some trouble. So, as I come, I duck, this arm lets go, goes around the head. Now from here, I don't stand in a reef, because Liam's strong, and I need to, I can run instead. My running is faster than his running when his head's bent. Okay, so from here, I run in a circle, and he goes straight down. Okay, it's kind of like uh, when you get a double leg takedown, uh, a double leg, I can either just stand and lift, which is difficult, or I can just run. And my running beats your side hopping. Same with, with this technique. So we go again, we here, I'm going, duck it, here, over. What a, now, what will happen, it's actually quite a difficult landing, okay? So I need to run in a circle, run, 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 and I can take it down, and I'll end up on top. This one, we call it the Oren Special because my friend Oren does it really, really well. Um, now, what you can do as well, down here, I duck it. The right hand goes over. What you can do, if you don't like the run, it's just another option, is I back step, I drop to my right knee, and I finish the Tawaragation. This one is very, very uncomfortable because the more he resists, it's all neck. It's very, very, very uncomfortable. Okay, so this will just complete that little series on the arm drag, what happens when they start throwing a top hand. Okay, if they throw that top hand, I duck it, and boom, I'll work all that stuff. Okay, um, and uh, this will help complete that by doing the arm drag. The arm reaches over. Now the danger is, as he throws, is that I'm, I'm loose with uh, this arm. I need to be pulling it to turn Liam's shoulder towards me. If Liam pulls that arm, you notice Liam, what am I in for? Oh, go, oh, go. Oh, so look. Yeah, look. I can get counted with Osoto or a Hara, depending on my reaction. So I've got to be pulling that arm and pulling that arm the whole time. Over. Run, 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 run. Very, yeah. Some people teach that when you run, you can block, but you honestly don't need to block like with the Sasa. You just run, 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 run. And he can't, he can't keep up. So that is how you do a Tawarageshi from an arm drag when they're throwing top grips looking for Uchimadas.